Cherish. Just start with their website really quick so you can get an idea. It's just home decor, all the different things that you can buy here. I don't know, maybe I'm not seeing a lot of the products that they're selling, but it feels like to the right audience, like this green chair or this cute little white chair with a blue seat, these are all products that should be sold on Facebook, even in silhouettes like this. You can do dynamic retargeting, any brand out there with a lot of SKUs like this, by the way. You can do dynamic product retargeting for people that have just viewed this chair and put this right back in their feed the next day, that same day, and have a few different options of the same seat shown at them in different colors, or maybe side tables or whatever it might be. All these products can be in your catalog, and if you've got a catalog software like we do, then you can optimize out the products that do not convert or the brand doesn't want to sell. So like if you didn't want to sell red sofas or they don't convert, you could just eliminate those from your catalog and only focus on chairs, see, uh, what side chairs, these are called dining side chairs. Uh, it, you could just eliminate those from your feed and just focus on dining side chairs like this or a plethora of other products that they have. The it, options are infinite for people, especially as you start looking at Google and high intense search. It is really gonna be a great place for you to use display for retargeting or YouTube for retargeting and even search for retargeting when people look at certain products. And you create audiences around different types of furniture. You know, paintings uh, are gonna attract maybe a different audience than those chairs and anybody who's looked at this painting. I can create an audience of people that have looked or engaged with or added to cart any kind of painting like this or print or whatever the options are. It's three, let's say 394 items. That's a lot of SKUs. There's probably, I don't know, thousands of SKUs with this company. They, they need a catalog with all of those. Not sure if they're doing that. I'm just saying because I don't see, a, I only see one type of product being sold on Facebook, I assume there's not a heavy build out in your catalog. A little brand protection on Google. Very nice. Let's see how shopping looks. Cherish. Modern classics. Article. Cherish, cherish, cherish. Okay. Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job. It, it's very hard to get every top, every spot at the very top, by the way. Uh, so they are the first that comes up. But if, as you can see, the rest of these are all cherish. And this is just a branded search. Yeah, shopping looks great. You guys are doing a good job there. Let's check you out on LinkedIn. Oh no, oh wow, I would've thought for sure there were there were ads up on LinkedIn. Such a great platform. I mean, look at all this cool stuff you guys, like wall art for your office, like, I wonder if they even have a section for office. Oh, rug, I mean rugs, furniture, wall art, look at all this stuff. I mean, you can sell office chairs or desks, tables, wall art, anything on LinkedIn to people that need it. Even just building an audience of people that are architects or interior designers. I mean, you can create an ad targeting just the interior designers, build an audience off of those people and then retarget to them on Facebook and retarget to them on link on uh, Google, YouTube even. So a lot of opportunity there, but generally I love the company. It looks really great. They have a million products for sale. Really. It's so cool to see. Look at this 45,000 items. Wow. Incredible. I'd love to know what the hero products are. Anyway, go check out Cherish if you need some new gear for your home or office. My name is Bobby Dietz. Thanks for watching this ad review, and we'll see you in the next one.